Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're doing another quarantine makeup video. So to be honest, I've kind of been enjoying this. For some reason I feel like whatever is happening in the world right now makes me feel less pressure on myself. Like I don't feel like, oh my God, what video idea do I need to come up with? I'm kind of just going with the flow and I feel a lot better about it and I feel like you guys are responding well to it as well. So I'm kind of feeling it. Not that I want this lifestyle to continue, but I feel like it's taken a little bit of the pressure off to be so like perfect and you know, all of that. So anyways, um, I'm just gonna be doing my makeup today. I'm gonna be trying a few different techniques that I don't normally do, and we're gonna see what we come up with. So I'm gonna start off by priming my face and I'm gonna be setting it with powder, but not in the sense that the TikTok trend is. So that huge trend is putting on primer, setting it with a powder, and then going on to apply your foundation. So I tried that off camera a different day. It did not work for me. My skin type, I feel like is like too dry or like too combination for that to work. Like it just wasn't working with like my drier areas. So I wanna try a little bit different of a technique. So I'm gonna be going in with this IT Cosmetics primer. It's the Your Skin But Better. So I like this one a lot. It's similar to my Dior one, but a little bit more hydrating. So. I'm going to be putting this all over. So instead of going in and setting that with a straight up powder, I wanna try using a setting spray that has powder in it. So there's a few setting sprays out there. I think MAC has like a Fix Plus with a powder in there. And then Makeup Forever just came out with this one. It's called the Velvet Air setting spray. So the description of this says that it blurs the look of imperfections, has aloe vera to soothe skin and maintain hydration, mattifying powders, green lentil extract to refine the appearance of pore size. So I'm going to just be spraying this all over my face before I go in with my foundation. And I feel like this is gonna work out for me. I'm being optimistic here, but I feel like it's gonna work because at the end, I'm gonna set it with a setting spray that's a little bit more hydrating. And if you're noticing how fugly my hands are, yeah, I don't wanna talk about it. I have a whole video on my channel that shows how I got to this point. If you wanna check it out, it's quite comical. But yeah, my hands are ugly, my nail polish is smudged, and you know, sometimes it bees like that. So next up, before I go in with concealer or anything, I'm going to be using this little guy right here, which is actually a like cushion cream blush. And I'm gonna be using this under my eyes as a corrector because it has this perfect like apricot peachy tone, which is great for correcting under eye darkness. And the reason I wanna try this out is because it's gonna act more of like a stain rather than a cream. Cream. Sometimes when I use a cream color corrector underneath my concealer, it gets a little bit heavy or a little bit cakey or a little bit creasy. So in theory, I feel like this will work a little bit better because it's such a thin formula. So um, it's just like this little cushion and it's in the color bossy. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and put it underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna put it wherever I have like that dark purpley bluish tone oh why is there glitter is there glitter in that or is glitter all over my finger so as i'm applying this i realize that there is some shimmer in there so i did not notice that like when i was swatching it on my hand i was like oh that's the perfect peachy color <laughs> there's shimmer in there maybe that will add a brightening effect okay see this is trial and error See, I always think I have these good ideas and then it's like, <laughs> you thought. Bitch, you thought. So I look very ill, not sick. I'm okay, but my watch sick. If you know that song, then I love you. I love you. Anyways, I was watching this video from Wayne Goss. It's using concealer as foundation to provide invisible coverage. So this technique I really wanted to try because I sometimes do a technique very similar to this. A lot of the times off camera, I won't even use foundation. I will just do concealer with like a cream contour and then skip the foundation. So this technique I definitely wanted to try. What he does in the video is he uses a light concealer and a dark concealer to create this invisible coverage. So I'm going to go in with my concealer and I think I'm going to use the Pat McGrath one. And this one is in the shade 
LM12. So it looks like this. The stuff is really good. The coverage is really nice. It looks very nice on the skin, but it is very pricey and you only get 0.16 ounces. So it's not that much product. He goes in and he applies this in dots all over and he doesn't dip back into the tube. So he applies it all over until there's like no product left on the wand. Get to now shoe shine this product onto the skin. And I like to start in So he shoe shines and starts with one area. I'm spraying my brush. This is an It Cosmetics brush. And I do that because my skin is a little bit drier and I feel like I need that. So he just starts with one area and like buffs it in. I'm just gonna spray my whole face. This is the Smashbox primer water, by the way. I feel like this concealer just sets a little bit, so I need the moisture in there. But if you don't have like drier skin, you probably won't need to do that. But in the video, he says that if you have drier skin, then this shoe polishing technique can be a little bit rough so that's why i'm adding some moisture then he goes in and adds more to his inner corner outer corner this is still the same shade and I'm gonna apply some on my chin too cause that's where I need a little bit tiny more coverage. So here, I'm gonna use a brush and here. And then underneath the eyes, I'm using my finger to really get the most coverage. So it is looking a little bit dry for me, but again, we can always fix that. So next for this technique, he goes in with a darker concealer. This is Maybelline Superstay in Warm Olive, which is a really nice tone for me personally. And he puts this like on the perimeter of his face or like anywhere he wants to sculpt it. Um, he has a beard, so he doesn't do this, but I'm going to because I need to sculpt that jaw. And then he just goes in and blends this with the same brush. When you use the same brush, everything like blends a little bit better because it still has some excess product on it. And <clears throat> for me personally, what I normally would use is like the Huda Beauty Tantor or just like a cream bronzer stick or like a cream foundation. So my technique is pretty similar to this, but he uses like dots of concealer. So we're doing dots of concealer. And I'm obviously nowhere near on the level of Wayne Goss. He is like a makeup genius and I am just a girl who likes to put stuff on her face sometimes on camera. <laughs> Oh, and this other technique, let me show you in a second. Alex, I do not know how to say her last name, but she is this gorgeous, gorgeous girl. She has so many informative videos. I will link her channel. And she has this one video on how to like get rid of a double chin. So she puts the contour color. She goes like this, and this is the part that comes out <laughs> because that's the part that like comes out like when you're talking or whatever. And she puts the color on this part this is so unflattering oh my god i can't believe i'm doing this for the world to see but you know why not and then she blends it there i'm trying to just chisel it out it doesn't always work but we do try then on the other end of the brush i'm just going to take a little bit and put it on my nose and contour my lips which i don't ever do this because 
I'm afraid it'll look like I have like a mustache, but you know, why not try it? So then when my boyfriend comes home and sees that I have a mustache, it'll be fine. He currently has his hair shaved into a lovely mullet style for quarantine, so this is fair game, I feel. Take a little bit, run it along the sides. Hmm, it just looks like I have dirt on my mouth. So then what I'm gonna do, this is something I do a lot, I'm gonna spray my whole face with some sort of like hydrating setting spray. This is the Smashbox Primer Water. I used to really love this and I kind of forgot about it, but I've been using it again. So I'm gonna spray my whole face. Really saturate it up. I'm gonna also spray my sponge, which is damp. This is one from e.l.f. And I'm just gonna go over everything. This is gonna help blend it together, push it into the skin, and then also pick up any like excess products. So if there's too much on the skin, this is gonna really help like tone it down. So then I'm going to do what Wayne does in his video and apply some blush. And he actually uses a lipstick, but I'm way too afraid to do that. Cause I feel like my cheeks will break out. <laughs> That's what he does. Touch just, here. just a touch. So I'm gonna try that, but I'm gonna be using this more natural color. It's from Nude Sticks. This is one of their magnetic lip plush paints. You can use these on eyes, lips, and cheeks. And this one is in the shade Bahama Mama, which that actually makes me sad because I was supposed to go to the Bahamas before all of this happened. And then clearly I didn't. I'm just gonna apply this right here a little bit up here a little bit to the nose and then blend that out love this color it's not particularly springy, but I do love it. It looks very natural, like that natural flush tone. And I love that he applies it on the forehead because I'm always looking for an excuse to apply more blush to myself. So here is what the invisible coverage looks like. It actually looks really good. He then goes in and sets it with a powder puff to press everything in. I'm a little bit scared to do that just because I used that setting spray with powder in it before I went in and did this. So I'm just gonna go in with a brush and a powder and I really have been wanting to try out this Pat McGrath under eye setting powder. It's supposed to be very blurring. And I tried out the medium one and it made my under eyes look really ashy, so I'm gonna try out the light color because it seems like a lot of people have been enjoying the light shade because it's brightening. So I'm just gonna take some on my brush, look down so I get all my creases and see how it goes. So it's definitely blurring but it reminds me a lot of my Ilia Soft Focus Powder, which I am obsessed with. This just seems like a pressed version of it, but I do like it. It's definitely blurring, but so is that powder. So I'm not setting the rest of my face because I feel like I don't really need to, but now I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced Born This Way Complexion Palette, and I'm gonna use the uh, Glow Shade from the Medium Palette. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and kind of just swirl it the tops of my cheekbones. I'm not going in like this, I'm just letting like the tip of my brush hit the high points. And I feel like I shouldn't add more blush, but I want to. <laughs> At the tip of my nose, I'm going like horizontally to really help like lift tip of that and then in between here to bring out the bridge of my nose that I do not have. 
So now I'm gonna go off camera, do my brows. I have a whole tutorial, a whole brow routine that I recently did. Check that out if you haven't already. Okay, so my brows are done. I'm not gonna do anything crazy for my eyes, so I'm probably gonna speed through this a little bit just because it's like nothing at all, but I am gonna use my Norvina palette. Mine is like really broken, but it's honestly one of my favorite palettes, so I still use it. So I'm just going to whip something up real quick. Oh my god. I just wanted to go like this to clean up my edge. I have no effing nails, so that is very fun. It's just not the same. <laughs> So this is what I came up with for the eyes. It's not like what I had envisioned, but you know, it'll do. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and add some more blush. I just feel like my cheeks look so just not fun right now and we wanna be having fun. So I'm taking this color from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Climax. And I'm just gonna add that right there cause I want to. For my lips, I'm gonna take this nude color called BFF from ColourPop. Then I think I'm going to take a little bit of this little Kaja bossy thing that we used earlier and apply that to our lips for like a really diffused wash of color. And I'm also kind of just blending it with that liner. So I think that's it. I think that's all I am going to do. I don't know if I love how it turned out. Um, it's not bad, but I'm not 100% sold on this technique. When I do my no foundation routine, which I can do if you guys want to see that, but um, I just do concealer like in my under eye and kind of like T-zone area. And then I will go in with the cream contour, blend it that way. And yeah, I don't apply concealer all over my face like that technique showed. And I don't use this weird color corrector that's not a color corrector. So I don't know. I don't know if this video was helpful at all, but uh, it was kind of just like trial and error. And as far as the powder setting spray, instead of powdering my primer, I don't think that's for me either. I think my skin type is just a little bit too dry for either of those techniques, but I wanted to give it a shot. I'm sure that my makeup will wear pretty well throughout the day, but I'm not like going outside and doing anything for obvious reasons. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of just like a get ready with me trying some new techniques. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are on any of these techniques, or if you have any cool little tips and tricks that you wanna share, let me know in the comments. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I'm getting a strong urge to cut my bangs. Not like up to here, like fourth grader style. I mean, just like a nice little 
maybe to here. Like it's kind of 70s. Like Michael Kelso vibes, no? I need to switch something in my life up and I don't know what it's gonna be, but something is getting switched. I'm gonna flip the switch. I don't know, nobody else is doing this. Ugh, I don't even want these in the frame. Get them out of here, these little freaking chicken nugget fingers.